It's not just tents and teepees in the main camp at Standing Rock. Wooden buildings are also going up to shelter the 8,000 people here to stop an oil pipe from passing close to a Native American reservation. But the US Army Corps of Engineers, which owns the land, have just sprung a surprise, saying everyone needs to leave by December the 5th or face arrest. Native American leaders say they're not going anywhere. I think that there's a there's a large number of folks that are dedicated to to, to sticking and staying uh, standing their ground. I mean, we have moral rights on our side, we have treaty rights on our side, um, and this is a fight not only against this pipeline, but this is a fight for justice and, and for uh, self determination as indigenous people. The people here continue to build, worried if they leave and the pipeline goes ahead, any leak would contaminate the Lakota tribe's water supply. Our camp is totally, we're going to stay, that's our position, until they come and remove us. You know, if we, if we just go willingly, then that was the whole reason we were here, yeah. The camp they live in resembles a moneyless town. Food donations have come pouring in and canteens feed everyone for free. There are depots handing out clothes, torches and propane tanks. Medical tents and armies of wood choppers work all day. They're digging in against heavy opposition from police who've used tear gas and water cannons. They say they're defending private property and that some protesters have concealed weapons. The eviction notice from the Army Corps of Engineers and the police here aren't the only obstacles to the protesters. There's also the harsh North Dakota winter. Temperatures are already below zero in the nights here and the first snows are expected shortly. We're uh, making improvements and okay. digging in and getting ready for winter. Kevin and his family have rigged up their tent to survive, insulating it with blankets and putting in a wood stove. He's given up his job as a welder. Kim, hers as a restaurant manager, to be here. It's never a unpolluting once it ever happens, once the water's trashed, once it's destroyed. No matter how many detergents, no matter how much what, you can never take that back out of. I do it for our kids, I do it for our children's children, our children's grandchildren. I, I do it for my brothers and sisters here and for family back home. Uh, if we don't, who will? If we don't do it now, we'll win. They have an uncertain future ahead, but they're not ready to give up yet. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Cannonball.